You're watching the NFL Betting Edge, brought to you by PlusEVSports.com. Visit our website at www.plusevsports.com and use the link below to join our growing community in Discord. What's going on, guys? It's Andy with Plus EV Sports. Super excited. Football is finally back, and we have a great matchup tonight. Packers travel to Chicago for a division matchup. Opening night. Can't be more excited. Don't forget to join our Discord plus evsports.com slash discord follow us on twitter plus ev underscore sports and of course check out our website for blog posts and more without further ado let's jump into it the chicago bears are projected to have one of the best defenses in the nfl this year they are tremendous in the front seven led by talents such as khalil mack akeem hicks and danny trevathan what people aren't mentioning is the key losses in the Bears secondary. Quality cornerback Bryce Callahan and safety Adrian Amos were replaced by players that have struggled in the past, Buster Skrine and former Packer HaHa ha Clinton Dix. The Bears defense was great last year, but let's not forget the Packers came back from a 20-0 deficit to beat Chicago during opening week of the 2018 season. Cleo Mack did play that game, and in fact, he dominated. But Aaron Rodgers and the Packers still came back to win. We all know how great Rodgers is, but he dominated the Bears in his career. Here are a couple of his career stats. He has a completion percentage of over 67%, a touchdown to interception ratio of over four to one, and a passer rating of over 105. As if those stats weren't strong enough, Aaron Rodgers has won seven of his last eight games in Chicago, including a playoff win. He's 16 and five overall versus Chicago in his career. New Green Bay Packers head coach Matt LaFleur has led offenses that have produced Matt Ryan's MVP year in 2016 and Jared Goff's productive second season in 2017, which led to his first playoff appearance and Pro Bowl. LaFleur believes in running the ball to take pressure off the QB and set up the play action downfield passing. Although the QB play of Marcus Mariota was very inconsistent last year, LaFleur led the Titans offense to some big victories. They beat the following playoff teams last year. New England Patriots, Philadelphia Eagles, the Houston Texans, and the Dallas Cowboys. By the way, all four of those teams had productive pass rushers on the field all year, much like the Chicago Bears have. Football is hard enough in itself to cap due to small sample sizes. And to top it off, we didn't see Rodgers or Trubisky hit the field during preseason. In fact, in week three, where we at least get a glimpse at the first team offense, the Packers rocked it on an 80 yard field in Canada and sat 33 starters. Overall, most of the offense on both teams saw little to no action during this preseason. Rookie David Montgomery saw work in both the passing and rushing game during his only showing week one of the preseason. On the Packers side, Geronimo Allison and Jimmy Graham had two and one receptions respectively in week two. That's it. Overall, Green Bay has performed well their first week, averaging 23 points with the Bears at about 20. An opening division game under the lights, we expect this to be a high-flying close one as we see who will come into form first. Looking at the spread, Vegas thinks this is a pretty even matchup. Home field advantage warrants a three-point spread automatically, and that's exactly where the spread sits. Typically, the first few weeks of football, there will be value on teams priced as dogs, and fortunately for us, the book's giving Green Bay a 40% implied win probability with 2.5 odds. This should be closer to a 45% probability, therefore, we're comfortable taking the field goal spread of plus three and outright money line for half a unit. On top of the spread and money line, there are some intriguing player props for week one. The Bears are confident in Tariq Cohen, and even though their new stud Montgomery is in the picture, Cohen will still have a key role. The Packers are missing starting linebacker Oren Burks, who was injured week one. They also lost his undrafted backup, Curtis Bolton, who was just placed on IR. Coupled with the fact that Trey Burton on the Bears is also a game time decision. We're getting close to even money on Cohen to have over 33 yards. 
Last season, he averaged well over that, but it was due to some absolutely freakish games. But we're still comfortable putting one unit on Cohen over 33 yards at 1.97 odds. 